Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about all things curly hair care from choosing the right ingredients to the right products to product application and everything after that. In this video, I am going to share with you a few of my favorite hairstyles that I have been doing recently with my hair. I have limited options because my hair is super, super, super short, but I've managed to come up with a few hairstyles. So if you are excited for this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Started. So in this video I am working with day two hair and as you can see I'm just sort of running my fingers through my hair to make sure that I wake up the curls because the hair that is closest to my scalp tend to be super flat. And now I am just figuring out what type of parting that I would want. I normally go for a side part and as you can see I'm also using my fingers and my nails for the side part and not a comb because I like the look of a sort of like a messy look and I don't like a defined part. Once I am satisfied with the side part, I will just sort of section off the hair that I'm not going to use for the twist with this hair clip. For the hairstyle, I am going to be using the SIM Curling Jelly and I'm also not going to wet my hair at all in this video because my hair takes such a long time to dry and if I can avoid adding water to my hair, I will do that. And I feel like with the curling jelly, I get enough water and enough moisture out of the product that I don't feel like I need to wet my hair or wet the curls with water. What I also like to do with the curling jelly is to just smooth down the hair that I will be twisting. And this also gives me a sort of a gel cast, which I absolutely love. And now I'm starting the twist. I'm just doing a single strand flat twist and I will be twisting away from my face. And after twisting the section, I will sort of push the hair forward so that the twist gets a little bit of a volume because I don't like a flat twist. And to secure the twist, I will be using a bobby pin. I also like to put some more of the curling jelly in my hair to define my curls and go over the pieces that are a little bit frizzy. To make my edges a little bit more defined, I will go in with some gel and a spoolie. I normally just like to define my edges and not make them look super, super snatched or super perfect because like I said, this look is more of a messy, casual type of look. For the second hairstyle, I'm just shaking my hair a little bit because it was a bit stiff from the previous hairstyle and of course the product that I put in my hair. And now I just do a middle part and put some more products in my hair and I am using the Eden Body Works Natural Curl Defining Cream for this particular hairstyle. So after smoothing down the middle part with some more product, I'm going to start with the twist and I'm twisting away from my face like I did in the first hairstyle. And as soon as I hit my baby hairs with the twist, I sort of like to twist my hair more towards my crown. And to make sure that the twist has a little bit of volume, I push all the hair in the twist forward. And to secure the twist, I am going to use some bobby pins. And now I am going to do the exact same thing to the other side, going in with some of the Eden Body Wars Curl Defining Cream. And then I will start to do the twist. And as soon as I reach the baby hairs, I will twist more towards my crown. And then to get more volume out of the twist, I will push it forward. And to secure the twist, I will be using a bobby pin as well. And then with some more of the curl cream, I will go over and smooth down a few strands of hair that got a little bit frizzy. And for this hairstyle, I'm still not using any water. I'm just refreshing my curls with some of the products. And again, to make my edges a little bit more defined, I will add some gel. What I also like to do is to define my edges like between the twists a little bit more so that I get a sort of like a more put together one look out of it instead of two separate pieces. 
Moving on to the next hairstyle and with this hairstyle I like to do a side part because I find that the side part makes it look a little bit more mature and for this particular hairstyle if I do a middle part I honestly feel like I am at like 15 and honestly I don't want to repeat that phase of my life and then I'm going to section a few more hair along my hairline in order to do the twists and later the braids and as you can also see, I'm not making like the, the line super harsh because I feel like there's going to be a huge gap between the twists and the rest of my hair and that's something I don't want. So I'm just going to get the hair that I'm not going to use for the twist out of the way by using again the clips. Now I'm going to add some more of the Eden Body Works Natural Curl Defining Cream because I do want to make sure that my twists are completely, completely moisturized. Aside from the cream, I'm also using a little bit of gel because that is going to give me extra hold. And if I combine the gel and the cream, I can make these twists last for four to five days without actually redoing them. And to secure the twists, I am also using a rubber band and you do need to make sure that you don't do this too tight because we don't want to damage the scalp, obviously. And now I am going to repeat the whole process again. The single flat twist along the hairline is definitely one hairstyle to really spice up your look without actually having to put so much effort. And now I'm just going to take out the clips and shake the rest of my hair and to sort of revive the curls because I am obviously I have a lot of product in my hair because I am recording all of these hairstyles in one video. But if you are doing this at home, you don't need to use a lot of product obviously. And one thing that I definitely like about not having such a perfect part is because there's not a huge gap between the twists and the actual hair. I feel like the more perfect the line is, the bigger the gap, if that makes sense. And this is the final look. I absolutely, absolutely love the hairstyle. So moving on to the next hairstyle, I'm working with the same sections. And I do comb the hair out because I do want to make sure that the braids are going super, super smoothly. And with these braids, I'm also adding gel and the cream. And then I'm going to start to do a regular three-strand braid. And then I'm going to add hair into the braid. And the same with the twists. If I do the combination of the cream and the gel, these braids can last me quite a while i think four to five days depending on what i'm doing with my hair but i also don't refresh the braids at all so they're really nice to sort of have a little bit of a break if that makes sense because my hair is super short i am having to refresh my hair every single morning and when i have the braids in i also i only need to refresh a portion of my hair which i find very nice and to secure the braid i'm also using a rubber band and again make sure that this is not too tight because it is not good for your scalp and now i am going to repeat the whole process again i'm starting with a regular three strand braid and then i'm going to add in more hair so that the braid is like sort of braided onto my scalp if that makes sense and i remember that i used to do this hairstyle a lot when i had my longer curls because that was also a way to get the hair out of your face and i like the hairstyle a lot and i honestly cannot wait for my hair to be that long again and another thing that i like because i don't really have like the perfect section i can add in more hair if that is necessary without messing up the whole look and i feel like this really makes the hairstyle super casual and laid back and fun instead of perfect so as you can see, I'm just finishing up the braid and as I get closer to my ear, my the braid will become a little bit smaller and thinner because I don't really have a lot of hair there. My hair is not that long. And again, I am securing the braid with an elastic, but I do need to be careful not to do this too tight because I don't want to damage my scalp. You could also use bobby pins to pin down the ends of the braids if they're not wanting to lay flat.
So something that I do want to mention in this video that I find it is important to realize is that you have to sort of experiment a little bit with these hairstyles with any other hairstyle actually because you have to find what works well with your hair and of course with your face but with that said I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that this video and these hairstyles have inspired you to maybe try a few on your own if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more curly hair related content I'm actually going to to upload three times a week now one on wednesday on a friday and on a sunday and i'm gonna upload them on 4 p.m gmt thank you all so 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 much for watching and i will hopefully see you in my next video